I was hurting when you called. I was trying to take another little quick nap right before you called. And I was like, and when you called, I had like, like four or five minutes left. You know what that is? Oh, oh, man. I don't do this. Like, I'm a vampire. You feel me? Man, it's gonna hurt. But, um,. I don't know whether or not you've seen it before or whatnot, mm-hmm. which I always break it down, man. This is just highlighting people in the in, in, in the Carolinas that's been doing stuff for a while. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I feel like we have a lot of history in our city and our state that's not always spoken about. Like, you know, it's known between people that are within the market, but there are a lot of people that just don't know. Mm-hmm. So I like to sit down with a bunch of people that I've been come across through the last few years and like, yo, y'all been out here doing things and making things in motion in the city for the longest time now that I think it's only right that we start highlighting some of these people that are out here really, you know, making the city move, doing things and putting things together to make sure, you know, our city has life in our market, man. When you come out here, who you need to talk to, who you need to know, who who does what and can help facilitate certain things. And you were one of those people when I was putting together this thing, I was like, yo, I need to get, I need to get nuts on. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of different things that he's been a part of, that he's done, that he has been in the mix of, that he got history, that history that I normally don't speak about, you mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying, or, or sometimes don't get the opportunity, you know? Exactly. Shout out to everybody joining us, man. Welcome to the pull up, the pop out, man. Your boy, LSD, the young legend, I got my man. Not so in the building. See you on Blockstar, man. Make sure you like, share, comment. You got questions. Building. Let us know, man. We're going to start with this opening question, man. CEO of Blockstar. Tell us the history of Blockstar. How did that come about? Mm. Well, Blockstar, um, I would say really 2002. Mm-hmm. I, I been had artists, you know what I mean? Um, I had two artists, both were my first cousins. Yeah. And, um, you know, my, I would say, I would say my first cousin, actually, I heard, I heard Blockstar in one of his raps, and I was like, boy, that's us. You feel what I'm saying? Say, you gotta put that seat yeah. on my dude. So I'm like, I'm like, shit, that's us. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, so, you know, from that point, 2000, maybe 2002? It's 2002, yeah, 2002. Yeah, 2002, so it's been, been, been a good minute. Yeah, not, 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 not before I got it. 2002 to 2012, that's when I got it trademark, I, I would say. Um, but he did 10 years, so therefore we was off the map. But we was always going to clubs mm-hmm. deep, you feel what I'm saying? Still representing yeah, the... Crush 54, you know what I mean? Shit like that, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we've been out here, you yeah. know what I mean? Big shout out to Jock checking in, man, I see. What's that in the nap? So, from, when did it become... I see potential in Blockstar actually being legitimate when it comes to the music and the artists and everything. When do you start pushing them as a legitimate, like, independent service and everything? Like, what was what? What, meaning, meaning the artists? Mm-hmm. Well, well, like I say, from 2000 and, so 2012, I, I might have wasn't doing music. We were still pushing, I guess, the old music. And mm-hmm. then, you know, um, my dog, Day One Z. He, he brought Spook and Hunk to me. You feel what I'm saying? And goddamn, I think we might have did a, something at EXO or something. I was like, shit, them boys hard. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I fuck with them. Mm-hmm. So I said I would continue doing the music management thing. You know what I mean? Right. You've been working out pretty well. I've been, you know, Spook got the uh, record Respect out right now. He's been doing real, real dope. But even the, the track record of Blockstar and that group, those two individually has done I, I feel exceptional from the time that I started and actually listened to their music and them developing and continuing to move forward I've seen so much progression what, what you saying Jock what did y'all say? say so y'all service going out y'all don't pull over maybe pull well, over we good right here so I, I'm, 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 I'm mapping out all the areas I drive around for the best signal. So when I ride around, I try to make sure that it's down to a minimum if possible. Every now and then we catch a little disconnect, but I try to make sure we end up in the area. In a, in a good area. In a good area. <laughs> now, so tell us about yourself, man. What made you want to get involved, like really get involved with the market? Like like promotions, doing stuff with the artists. What, what fed into that? Well, you know, if most people wouldn't know about me, but I come from those projects um, over there by Benedict, you know what I mean, out of Benedict Court, Saxon Home. So, growing up there, I always, 
always been been structured. You feel what I'm saying? Like always, like like trying to put things together to get the fuck up out the hood. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So so therefore. I guess to say, um... Your mission was always, we gotta go. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? So, and, and, and just running with, you know, with your friends and doing all that shit, you, you be ambitious. So, mm-hmm. like I say, I, you know what I mean? Um, I don't want to say Jelly Tight was, was rapping first. I can't really say who, yeah, I, I would say Jelly Tight now, you know what I mean? The Green Street Boys, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? They actually had, they label, they label out, you know what I mean? And my, my, my first artist was, was doing his music over there, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, like, nigga, I love music, you feel what I'm saying? God damn, I know what's, I know some good music, you know what I mean, when I hear it. So I'm like, shit, I can do this, you feel what I'm saying? I feel you, like, that's, that's dope, though, like... I see a lot of people jump in just for the bread. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, yo, I can make this, I can make that. And I'm like, that's cool, but do you have a passion? Do you have a love? And if that comes first, that everything else is going to follow behind it. But if you ain't got that passion, like like you said, like you looking at the situation, it, it doesn't help because you're not going to really build nothing from it, though. Well, so what was your very first experience like? What was that that moment? I, I like to talk about, like, that moment sometimes when you... You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Was there anything particular, like like a particular moment, or like you hearing my, somewhere? Hearing my, hearing my f- first artist rap, like that, that motherfucker. That, that was mother, it. That, 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 you was like, yo, that nigga right there. Man, that's it. You feel what I'm saying? So, so, so that's like how you saying saying money, but mm. but still is like. Boy, we can get up out of here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 yeah, yeah. It was always trying to get up out of our situation. You feel what I'm saying? And not doing the things you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If you didn't know, man, that's was one of the biggest promoters in our city, if not one of the state, man, in the state itself. Like, he, he's packed out events after events, has booked me for plenty, plenty, plenty of events. The DJ, yeah, I appreciate it too, if I didn't say it. But, um, what led into the promotion part, though? Um, now, this, this is a crazy story. I, I was waiting for T-Rock to see it on his interview, and he did. And so, you know, um, I think it was at the studio one day, you know what I mean? Um, it was at the studio, but it, it, it couldn't have been us working on the, we was about to work on the 48 Camp mm-hmm. and Blockstar compilation, you know what I mean? Okay. But, but it had to be before that, and T-Rock was just like, man, you know what? Like, nigga, you want to do a party? I was like... Fucking party. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, where you at? I think you said, I think it was XO, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? XO oh, it might be Apple Bottle, I'm not sure, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the old, old Apple yeah, Bottle. Yeah, 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 you feel what I'm saying? And then shit, we did our first event there, mm-hmm. and got them, I got the taste of it. I ain't, I loved it. That, that, that yeah. end of the night came around, I ain't mad. Well, now, now that you've gotten. Yeah, you're one of the first names that comes up when, that's wrong term, when anybody says anything about an event or a party or any anything of that nature. So what's been, what's next for you, I guess, with taking a promotion and then taking it to another level, I guess? Or if you can speak about it, because, you know, sometimes we get um, ideas, but we don't want to speak about it too soon. Um, I, I... I guess, I guess to me, you know, you know, even for growing up in the, the projects or goddamn, even being popular in school, you feel what I'm saying, goddamn, elementary or whatever, mm-hmm. like, like, I feel like it's, I feel like it's bigger and better things for me mm-hmm. to do and not to be local, you know what I mean? I hate to use that word, yeah. you feel what I'm saying, but I don't want to be local, I want to be, I, I, want, I want my business to be global, mm-hmm. you feel me? So, so that's what's... That would be next, you know what I mean? Looking at the music that you've been involved in, whatnot, as for right now, what have you seen as one of the biggest changes to develop in our market for, I guess, music or the sound that you've seen? Me personally, you know, and I, I don't think artists be thinking about this. They think about just rapping, but mm-hmm. my thing is like, gotta be mix and master quality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, just quality first. You know what I mean? That that's what I, I want to hear that first. You know what I mean? Before I even, they, they want to hear your music, I want to hear that motherfucker being quality. You know what I mean? But as far as our, what you mean, like, the our sound? Nah, just the development of our music, the progression or the elevate, el- evolution 
from the time that you heard or when you started going to clubs and seeing all artists mm -hmm. out there to today? Well, um, e even even to go back to um, what we had talked about too long ago about even starting, um, um, because when I graduated, I actually left. 2002 I graduated mm -hmm. 2002 but TD them was rapping yeah. you know what I mean they had they had met like I took that um um CD to the A you know what I mean and goddamn niggas was loving that you feel what I'm saying so so me honestly like like I really don't see a change we all are doing the same thing you know what I mean yeah. from from previous generation, you know what I mean? It's just a, I guess a little more flashy now, you know what I mean? Yeah, a little, like, you can see everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You yeah, can see the yeah. whole process across the board yeah, now. with the social media, you mm -hmm. feel me? So that's what changed, the social media. Yeah, yeah, so you you just think for, for pretty much there had to be, I guess, a growth of development. As in, because when I think of it, and me and Venom talked about this yesterday. She said something, and, and I asked everybody, like, the evolution. She said it. there has been a, a lack of evolution, as in, I want to make sure I, I, I say it correct. Doing the same thing and over and over and getting the same results. They, like, drop the project, do the probably month worth of promo for it, and then you moved on, and then we don't hear from you. Like, like the, the progression of artist development from being at a higher level than they were before they last project i would say just getting smarter now you mm -hmm. feel what i'm saying you know and i i be, I be wanting artists to get more business minded about this business instead of just dropping songs you know what i mean or even having a manager looking over some shit like you should look over your shit yourself too mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying so you can't have that reliance on somebody mm -hmm. your shit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, 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 don't, don't, say, don't, don't say just a double back you know what i mean mm -hmm. like send me the paper too you know what i mean if i can read it you feel me so so um the, the evolution i can say like i said people just wising up now mm -hmm. you know what i mean just just wising up what's one of your biggest 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 pet peeves as a promoter my dude like like when when it comes to uh, and this is a different level there's, there's different spots on my ass like when it comes to artists as a promoter what's one of the things that you could give advice to an artist when they're asking you about performing at an event or at anything that you got going on um now now you know you know again I'm a, I, I have my record label, then I'm managing artists, and then I'm a promoter. Mm -hmm. So, so for me, I'm, I'm coming, if, if artists come to me, you know what I mean, I, I understand them. You understand what I'm saying? So, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it really, it really wouldn't be a pet peeve. My, my pet peeve is, God, there you go, that strip club, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And get booked, and you don't do your thing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that's but, not, and that's one of the things, though. Mm -hmm. Like, like, we've been there, we've spoken about it, we've looked at each other. In the strip club, watch an artist perform and not spend no money. Not spend no money. Song, song say big money, goddamn. You feel me? It's like all kinds of crazy stuff. What the fuck? And, and y'all don't. I, and I want to understand and everybody understand of how that looks on us. Mm -hmm. Not, not just. Oh yeah, I killed it. I smashed the show. Now, number one, nobody even paid attention because of you being in a strip club and you not throwing money. I'm sorry, that's just part of the game. I, I, I would say it again, the whole operation, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fuck up the DJ, mm -hmm. the motherfucker in the street, the goddamn promoter, you know what I yeah. mean? To the crowd, you and, feel what I'm saying? And it looks horrible. Like, like it don't look bad, it looks horrible. My, my advice to any... Um, I, I'm saying we gotta talk about big artists, but my advice would be to any local artists, again, like I said, I ain't saying that word, but local... Um, I always be like, if a person even, you know what I'm saying, like, even if you're reaching out, then you should know, mm -hmm. God damn it, to have yourself together, you know what I mean? But even if a person call you and, and you're not together at that moment, you mm -hmm. feel me? Don't do the show. Yeah. You feel me? Like, nah. If your shit ain't in order, yeah. let us know mm -hmm. so that you don't have nobody out here looking crazy because it's happened too many times. And I think we've all, I don't think it's not going to stop happening. I just think we need to cut it down as much as, like, it, for the most part, it's a new artist thing. And I'm not going to say it a lot. Like, it'd be mostly cats that's breaking their way into the game, trying to start coming out and get their name around. And I don't think they actually get it. They say they get it, but they don't get it. Though. And I guess it's, it's 
just a conversation. We got to continue to pound into their head. That, this is one of those things that we come across and we sit down in the club and we sit in there and we talking afterwards. We all talk about this. Like promoters, club owners, we all talk about this. And we try to tell artists like, yo, your preparation is is your preparation on how it's going to look you, but don't come into a situation to make us look bad because of your inadequacy. <laughs> That's me, the biggest. And, 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 and my, my motto now, I guess, um, going into 2018, mm -hmm. is like, like I tell people, like, you know, like, like I say, I'm, I, no, so I'm going to say I call myself CEO, but goddamn, I am a CEO of a company, you feel what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I would tell anybody, be the CEO of yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Like, therefore, that means, like, nigga, don't sit there and come on to the show and be like, damn, Tim's supposed to have my flash drive. You know what I mean? Nah, you should have your you know, flash drive also. You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm waiting on so-and-so. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, should, you should get those things together, even, even if you are an artist, mm -hmm. you know? Also, I like to bring all these topics up. One of the dopest graphic designers out here, man. Like, like he... Well, what motivates you to do so many different things? Like, you can easily call up somebody and be like, yo, I need a graphic done. And for the most part, they'll be like, all right, I got you. I'm going to get it and get it done. What What makes you want to do so many different aspects and put your hands on so many different things from graphic design? Like, we even had a conversation about the videos that I'm doing now about taking them off of here and putting them on. And you were just so in-depth about, yo, the YouTube and you need to get up. Like, like, like what? What, I'm, I'm, I'm about to trip you out. Okay, so so again, you know, like I say, you know what I mean? People, pe people, don't say people who know me now, you know what I mean? And maybe say my Facebook name, you feel what I'm saying? But um, um, prior to me going to college, you know what I mean? I was a, I was a, you know, trouble kid, you know what I mean? Block star, that, that, don't say that shit is real, you know what I mean? Yeah, you feel me? So, <laughs> so, um, so I went to school, you know what I mean? Like, like I was on probation, so goddamn, instead of me looking for a job, I'm like, shit, I got that. I can go to school, and he ain't gonna, he is telling me, you know. You still be a move. Yeah, you know what I mean? So he, he got there, he let me go to, I'm gonna say let me go to school, but you know, we did the school thing. So now, me first entering school, I always, I always like to draw when I was young, you know what I mean? Got down, just draw the little boxing dude, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I always did that. So I'm like, damn, what the hell would I take up? So I took up graphic design, but. Even even in these, I would say eight years, I probably went to school, goddamn, or yeah, eight or six. Mm -hmm. Um, um, as soon as I stepped foot in school, my my goal was to have my masters yeah. in business. Mm -hmm. So that was just a whatever I can get in, you know, because I, mean? I don't think you can go straight to, you know, what I mean, yeah, yeah, So you got to you got to go associates. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or get your get your um bachelor's. Yeah. So I started. I did graphic design first. You know, what I mean, I actually. Even right now, I'm I'm debating, you know, because I really do want my my um, masters in damn business. Mm -hmm. So I might I, I'm debating. So you know? where are you at right now with schooling? Just as I'm, I'm done, and I'm a, I'm official. I officially graduated. I'm a I'm a public administrator. Oh, congratulations, my dude! Yeah, just like that. I could be an HR, I guess, at, hey, at a company. Hey, you know that, that that resume deep though. So so you can you can always add that. What what one of your biggest inspirations just coming up? Like like who was somebody you looked up? Now, mm -hmm. so they would be like, what block star? Like, hey, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He a schoolboy. You know what I mean? That motherfucker would say. Hey I mean, man, I, ain't nothing wrong with that. But, but that's a hell of a transform for me, and I I like that. You feel and, what I'm saying? But that's a dope way. You know, it, you you took yourself out of a situation in order to help yourself grow. Mm -hmm. you, you 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 took a situation that was negative, thought about it. Cause a lot of times we will react. Mm -hmm. We won't take that that time to be like, you know what? Fuck it. It is what it is. I'm out here. I'm gonna still just be out here. You were like, you know what? I'm gonna sit back. Let me think about it, and then you made you made a decision to make sure, like, yo, you can be straight. You can do something different do something for different. your people. And, and just because we we came from our, them projects, that don't mean we gotta be stupid. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, like this ignorant shit. Now, nah, like, done grew past that. You feel what I'm saying? I watch I tell people, like, even with my with my height and my size, like, I'm not a jitty bug. You feel what I'm saying? 
but, but that's that's the point now like the growth like you're becoming one of the OGs now mm-hmm. like like let's let's be be honored mm-hmm. about it like you becoming one of the people in the game that the young just gonna be looking up to in a little bit and trying to figure out all right how do I get to where he's at mm-hmm. what do I do in order to get there and at least you can set an example like well shit I gotta go to school mm-hmm. next thing I got I gotta make sure or, I'm or, or 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 that's your or that's your choice you know what I mean but 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 you you don't have to take that route because like I say now you know what I'm saying you know you, you have life experiences so mm-hmm. so me experiencing that like shit I, I got debt with that you understand what I'm saying you know so that shit opened my mind even more to like to like even with money, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, like how much my school did is like shit. I'd be like, what? Some shit, fifty thousand dollars? Like, that's nothing. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, like, like it opened my mind. But at the same time, I I would advise a person to if you want to go to school hell, save up. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, boy, I got that take out the damn loan. You, you know what I mean? You 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 were like, you know what? I need to change. Let me go ahead and do this. Well, and, I didn't know. Yeah, and so from, so from that point, you once you got in, the you first like, thing. I might be the first person in my family to goddamn go to college. I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? But that's like, dope, though. Yeah, yeah. And, and from that experience, you can get that to your kids. You can get that to the hood. You can get that to so many different people now because it's an experience they haven't had yet that, that you are not can bring to them. And I tell people, man, those experiences, once you get out of your situation that make you get out, be the ones that make you grow the most. And make you develop into a better person and give you better character because now you, you're forced into a position that you're uncomfortable with. Mm-hmm. Being uncomfortable is going to make you change. And that's always been the biggest thing with us is like, we'll get comfortable with a lot of situations. It's cool. Like, like you know, we'll get into our routine. But doing what we do, we have to change. Mm-hmm. We have to be prevalent and be able to see the change that happens in order so that we can make sure that, you know, we ain't getting left behind out mm-hmm. here. Now, now I, I wanted to, I, I, I want to say reiterate, but um, when you also say the pet peeve of an artist, mm-hmm. I would just say a, I have a pet peeve of of um of of other people's opinion, like like when they try to tell tell people um to do something. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But or, or or they're doing something wrong, but not helping them. Yeah, they're not offering any any help. Like 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 soon they're doing something. They 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 tan, I don't want to say tan them down, but it's like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Oh oh you oh oh you um. You know what I'm saying you shouldn't do that show or, or or shouldn't do a goddamn showcase. But then I feel like if you tell him he shouldn't do that, then tell him what he should do. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying to help him out. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's my pet peeve with 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 the offer a solution. Don't don't just be yeah with like, the. With the music scene in the city as a whole, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. That, but that's real though, because we, everybody wants to point a finger. Everybody wants to sell. Yeah, catch it. Yeah. My bad, y'all. My apologies. Appreciate everybody on the pull up, pop out, man. We got CEO of Blockstar Nuts so with us, man. Appreciate everybody. What's up, man? Shout out Dread, man. Black Hollywood, what up, man? Coco Loso, I see you. CC, Sierra, what up, man? Kuda, what up, boy? Jock Hustle, man. I see you. Finch, I see you, man. I want to make sure I get all these shots out for uh, Rizzy Rock, what up, my boy? DJ June. Ali, what up, man? One time, my cousin. Nita, what up? Duke, I see you. Jock, one time on the check in. Uh, uh, Big T, what up, man? Yeah. What up, what up, what up, what up? What's happening? Shout out to everybody, man. Make sure you like, share, comment. You got questions, anything you want to ask, man. Always, always make sure you you show it out, man. Make sure you let everybody know. As a promoter, I know you've been coming with a bunch of different events. What's one of the things that make you not be like, nah, I ain't going to put my hands on it? Like, 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 what's one of the things that keep you from, I guess, attaching yourself to certain events or something like that? Because I know you get get hit on a regular basis with, yo, I need you to promote, I need you to promote, I need you to promote. Is there anything that you won't do or for any reason? I would say, I would say I used to get that. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? It's like now I may not get a call to get put on something because a person feels as if I'm on a pedestal. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I don't get those calls too often. Like, anything I'm doing is me setting the fuck up. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna roll with it. You know what I mean? Mm. You think in our market, once you get to a certain point, people just just automatically want to stop fucking with you or want to fuck with you more? 
Uh, Cause I kind of feel it's both ways Like on that come up we get to a certain point sometimes And you know it's all love But then we'll hit hit a point mm-hmm. to where it'd be like I ain't gonna fuck with them Or those calls you used to get and everything They don't start hitting I, I, I had seen a, a, a video or something I, I, I can't really recall it right now But um, um, I don't know this guy was like Was like Damn, something about your, your, you know what I mean? Your friends, like, 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 like people would support, mm-hmm. you know, support, support strangers and just won't support their friends. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, so at the same time, it's like, um, uh, my, motherfuckers just. How do you deal with it? Like, like, because I've, me personally, I started distancing myself. Mm-hmm. And just because I, I notice things with people, I'm very visual and, and aware. And I try to make sure, like, the subtle, the little, little, little stuff be the biggest things in my head. Because those are those habits, those, those regular habits, mm-hmm. you feel me? So when I see stuff like, all right, the calls that I would normally get from somebody and I see them moving and they stop doing that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the conversation starts getting weird and mm-hmm. I try to, I'm a very, like, yo, hit me up, talk. Mm-hmm. Like, if there's an issue, mm-hmm. something going on, let me know. Mm-hmm. That way we can resolve it and keep things because mm-hmm. I don't see a reason for dumb anything like like negativity why i always feel there's a solution to something but when i start noticing those habits and seeing them i just distance myself what is it that that you do to i guess keep your circle safe and your bubble safe once those things happen uh i just know like you know you know um i know people people have opinions Mm -hmm. it's a billion of us out here Mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying i try to deal on facts yeah you feel me so 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 in in saying that you know what i mean dealing with people like like you hear nonsense so i scroll down Facebook. but sometimes you mm. i don't want to say i don't want to say you might see me get on the you know on the what's the name but really mm. i try to stay off there because you know i feel like it's a little like again coming from growing up like i always i don't say felt popular but always you know what i mean like saying the projects are small you ain't you ain't got no front yard you walk out the door everybody see you you know right what there. i mean so they speak it to you whatever you know what i mean so mm-hmm. so um and, and saying that damn i lost my damn train of thought um not nah, just the people that you know change up yeah like like, like people people just had their, their opinions you mm-hmm. know what i mean so i just try to deal in in facts you feel what i'm saying as it comes you just try to make sure you deal with it i feel you i feel you oh. I guess my next question is more personal. Like, who who is not so like like like? What is it that that outside of just this music stuff that drives not so? Like, we know Block Star. We know the the dealings you have with them. What are things that make not so happy? That that when he wake up in the morning or in the afternoon, like we was talking, what's the thing that be like? You know what? I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do that. Um. Well, she first of all just waking the fuck up <laughs> you know. feel me and being actually you know what I'm saying this, this might be amazing too you know what I'm saying but this actually being healthy though like like you know like like growing like 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 we could have been fucked up as a baby like mm-hmm. we could have grew up like fucking three hands missing you know what I yeah. mean your face fucked up you know what I mean so so just every day you know what I mean every day on the wake up that's the blessing most important and and not getting a phone call saying one of your people's gone you know what i mean got them other than that you know I'm, you just take the day yeah, you thing. feel me you know what i mean and I, I, that might be a little shocking but like 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 it's fucked up all all around me you know what i mean mm-hmm. so it's just a blessing to make the walk you know what i mean but that's dope water, about it, man. sit in this car with you you mm-hmm. feel what i'm saying like I got a bunch of homies that's locked up, you know what I mean? Like, niggas I grew up with, you know what I mean? All my friends, mm-hmm. mostly, you feel what I'm saying? People, again, knew me from back in the day, like, like all my best friends, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That's right. In the feds right now. But, um, I guess, oh, uh, no, nah, I guess, you've always played more of the background role. Mm-hmm. Like, like, anytime we do events and stuff like that, I always catch you, you know, off in the cut somewhere like that. Mm-hmm. Like, is that how you always wanted to play it? That that just always been your personality? Just, uh, yeah. you know what, I'm going to just do the background and I can do more from there to push. You know what I'm saying? And this piggyback off what I just said, mm-hmm. my, my best friends who are in jail now, mm-hmm. all them were tall as a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So I was always behind them. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, therefore,
four motherfucker had to goddamn. Hey, when that's old, you feel what I'm saying? So, so it just so, became one of them things. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the back. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm in the back. <laughs> yeah, you feel what I'm saying? But, but it seemed like it's provided very well to what it is that's going on because you know, I've seen a lot of times that a uh, individual will overshine the brand in which they're trying to promote, mm-hmm. and you'll get some people will get more caught up into that person than what it is that they're trying to push out there and it sometimes causes an issue i see it a lot on facebook now because you know social media has allowed us to be able to be out there to everybody at any time so seeing a a, a, a demeanor of you know what i'm gonna fall back it, it is a little refreshing because you know it 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 adds, I guess, more professionalism mm-hmm. with it and stuff like that. And well, well, to 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 go on to that, like, like I always, I, I want the brand, I want the brand to mean everything. I want the brand to mean my projects. I want the brand to mean hustlers. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I wanna, I wanna step out and the motherfucker say block star. You know what I mean? Don't even call me by my name. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I want the brand to be Big in front. It. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that's that's definitely my goal on on. With my business, I guess to say. Big shout out DJ Surplus checking in, man. DJ B more, what up, man? Yo, uh, Black Wall Street, Columbia SC, 2019 Surplus, man. Holla at me, man. You need something, you already know what it is, man. It's never a problem. I gotta get you on here too. Um, yeah, jot they don't want to see. They gonna they gonna want to stop fucking with us once we go too good. Yeah, man, that's life. That's how it works. Man, um. Oh, shout out Jock Hustle and um, Maine, too. How did that connection work, if you don't mind? Because I see y'all do a lot, a lot of events together. Y'all Also, if y'all don't know, let me add a little stuff. They do promotions for the $2 Tuesdays at Bliss. Man, one of the biggest Tuesday nights in the whole state. It's been going strong for probably about almost two years now. Well, uh, uh, a year, maybe two months. <laughs> year, you know what I mean? Yep, a year, maybe two months. But rolling, though, last mm-hmm. night was crazy. You know what I mean? Happy birthday to Mr. Shout out to DZ. Everybody came through. You know what I mean? That shit was crazy as hell. Shout out to E2, man. Happy birthday, y'all. Happy belated E. Happy birthday, yeah, Mr. Happy too. birthday, E. So, um, but now, now to go about jocking, um, um, Boom. Now, I've been new Boom. I knew Boom, um, older brother. Uh, new boom older brother but but like i say like like you know what i mean we're, we're from the city so we be we just be yapping to each other and goddamn i guess i was already probably doing the promotional shit or whatever mm-hmm. you know what i mean and goddamn we just told boom like now you want this money but yo you feel mm-hmm. what i'm saying goddamn so now we're um with, with jock hustle i i'm I'm, I, I seen something in him a long time ago when i was mm-hmm. um promoting that at, at lucky's you feel what i'm saying and then mm-hmm. one day i was just like I'm gonna fuck with him, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm a goddamn throw him on one. The same thing the way T Rock came to me. You feel what I'm saying? We you know what I'm saying we we pass it on. You mm-hmm. feel me? So I'm like, let's do this shit. And that's goddamn it, we ain't look back on it. You feel dope. me? Like I, I gotta stress this a lot because I, I always kind of see the lack of it, but it's picking up more with us. I guess our generation of you know putting people on, mm-hmm. trying trying to reach out, showing that love, and becoming you know. OGs for the guys that's trying to come up and everything like that because I don't want to say there was a gap but it feels like there was a gap between us and the guys above us feel me and I don't want to say above us but the ones that were doing it before us a little mm-hmm. bit like certain DJs certain mm-hmm. motors all of that like it was them blackout then it became what we doing now and so a lot of game wasn't passed on mm-hmm. in certain situations and i feel that hurt because you know those relationships those things that could have helped continue mm-hmm. to build whatever it was that we wanted to make it build into it. and we kind of lost lost that and had to remake that for the city because as you look at it now like things only move when we need them to move mm-hmm. and whatnot depending on what event what flyer whatnot mm-hmm. when it used to be Everywhere in the city was going. Yeah, everywhere yeah. in the city. And, was and going. you really had to promote. It was yeah. like it, it was like um what it was the main event mm-hmm. um whatever that shit was shit Columbia Live like the weekend you you just you just knew where to go. You yep. know what I'm saying? But I want to try to say like social media that done, done put a a ruffle in in our process of thinking though. I feel you know what I mean mm-hmm. and and has this, this detached the the 
communication yeah. barrier of all us. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, so I, w- I would say that's that's probably why. But 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 far as from the from the OGs, you know what I mean? You know, and, and this is no disrespect. Yeah. I just think it's just one of those things like just timing. Mm. Feel me? Like like when they were getting or about to make their way out, there was just no able to interact. Like we didn't have. Honestly, I I didn't know about meet and greets and events mm-hmm. to, to mm-hmm. network at mm-hmm. around here mm-hmm. until like we really until, became involved yeah. and start doing yeah. them ourselves Word. and then putting those things on. But to have those interactions with people from radio or DJs in the clubs, mm-hmm. those didn't happen mm-hmm. like that around mm-hmm. here. So we kind of we lost out on a situation to be able to continue to grow, mm-hmm. and we had to start over from scratch. Mm-hmm. So I agree. I agree. So it was one of the things I looked at and I was like. We're doing a great job, but I just think I'm glad to see you taking that effort to continue to pass that. Mm-hmm. Because once I saw that, I was like, we got to make sure this mm-hmm. stuff continues to move. Mm-hmm. If y'all didn't know, though, if y'all didn't know, I want to make sure everybody know, pull up the Lux Studio, man. Mm-hmm. What time is it? 137. Mm-hmm. 2 o'clock, man, Lux Studio. We got the Valentine's Day brunch hosted by Blockstar, man. It's going down. They got food by Chef Casey. They got gifts. They got special guests. They got games. Make sure you pull up, man. It's definitely, definitely, definitely dope event. We already got people pulling up right now. So if you're in the area, man, Lux Studios all over here on Park Lane, man, pull up Blockstar. It's going to be dope. But, um, shoot, I'm trying to think. I think those are pretty much all the questions. Is there anything you want to add? Any people want to shout out? Let know. We got coming up, man. Most definitely tell them. Um, you know, I, I just want to say, like, 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 just as far as the city, I don't, as far as the, the state, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you know, I'm, I'm going to shout this out, too, you know what I mean? I'm going to find nobody to feel, but as far as that list, you know what I mean? Like, me being in this city, like, I don't know the dude. Mm-hmm. I don't know who made it, so it's not credible to me, and I'm not knocking anybody that's on it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But to not denote the person who did it, like, you know what I mean? This could be a motherfucking goddamn white boy, goddamn ain't mm-hmm. ain't been around here to really know mm-hmm. what's going on. Or ain't been in, in Charleston. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't been in these places, so I would want to know his his goddamn background before he, that, that person judges, you know what I mean, the, the talent around here, you know what I mean? I want to say that. Mm-hmm. And then far as from, you know, far as just us supporting each other, like, like, you know, they get on your dick when you handling your business. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't even ask for no support. Don't even worry about it. You feel me? Uh-huh. Don't even worry about it. That's the real shit I can tell you, man. Don't worry about those that ain't supporting you. Man, show love to the ones that are showing you love, man. That's the only thing that matters. Big shout out to uh, Coco Loso. DJ Sean John, what's up? Appreciate you come checking in, man. Man, this is my boy. Boy. My man, CEO of Blockstar, Nutso, man, definitely appreciate you coming on for the pull up, pop out interview you know series, man. You know it. Thank you. And you know, I don't, I don't yap too much. You feel what I'm saying? So I do this for my dog. I fucks with LSD. He been handling business. You feel me? This is history, man. Make sure you link up, man. Make sure you hit him up. You need graphics. You need promotion. You need whatever. Fuck with him, man. He's definitely that dude, man. Appreciate everybody checking in. Next Wednesday, we'll be out here. I think I have uh, uh, Justin, not just Blaze, uh, Blazing Media on next week. Week after that, we got Kill Lumbia coming up, man. Appreciate everybody in. Tune in next Wednesday. Pull up, pop out. We out.